does an irregular heart rhythm mean I'm in atrial fibrillation? So I've seen a lot of patients where they say, oh yeah, I'm, I'm in AFib because I could tell my heart rate's a little bit irregular. Well, having an irregular heart rhythm may or may not mean that you're actually in atrial fibrillation. It, just having palpitations. See, when people say I have palpitations, they mean one of two things. They either mean their heart is feeling like it's irregular or they feel like their heart is racing. Now, neither one necessarily means you're in atrial fibrillation or any other abnormal rhythm for that matter. It could just mean that your normal rhythm's going a little bit fast for some reason or being a little bit irregular. See, the heart runs on electricity and it's a big dumb muscle and every time it gets an electrical signal, it has to beat. So there is a source of electricity that's making your heart beat at a certain speed. The normal source is actually located in the roof of your heart. So it's called the sinus node and it's designed to send out electrical impulses at the speed your brain wants to make your heart beat at a normal speed. And depending on what you're doing, it's gonna make your heart go faster or slower to whatever is appropriate for the situation. That's why when you exercise, it speeds up. When you're relaxed, it slows down. If you're pain, in pain or stressed, it speeds up. If you're sleeping or calm, it may slow down. So different things will cause different speeds. But when you're in an abnormal rhythm, you're saying that you have an abnormal source of electricity in another wall of your heart that's not supposed to be there, that has a mind of its own, and it's waking up randomly, overriding your normal source of electricity, taking over control of your heart and speeding it up for whatever speed it wants to go at, that's not anything that you need, and then it goes back to sleep. And when it goes back to sleep, it's not gone, it's just back to sleep and it can wake up again in the future and cause more episodes. So some, uh, sometimes the only way to really tell what rhythm you're actually in is to actually do an EKG. This is the rhythm uh, monitor or the rhythm source monitor that is recording the electricity that's flowing through your heart at that moment. And I can interpret those squiggly little lines and tell whether or not you're in normal rhythm or whether you're in an abnormal rhythm. Where is the electricity coming from? Which wall is it coming from? And so that will help us tell who's actually in control of your heart. People themselves can't tell just by themselves what rhythm their heart is in. They can just tell if their heart rate seems fast or irregular. But remember, your normal rhythm can make your heart go fast if there's a reason for it to go fast. If you're in pain, if you're stressed, if you're anxious, if you've got some other comorbid medical condition that's putting stress in your body. Your brain may require your normal rhythm source to go faster, and that doesn't mean you're in an abnormal rhythm. On the other hand, just because you are in an abnormal heart rhythm, whether it be atrial fibrillation, atrial flutter, or one of the other 15 different abnormal rhythms, doesn't mean it can't go at a relatively slower speed. Doesn't mean it always has to go super duper fast. It could go, instead of at 150, 160 beats per minute, it could be 80 or 90 beats per minute. And at that speed, you may not even know you're out of rhythm because it's not even that fast. So you can't just go based on the speed. Now it is true that your normal rhythm tends to be very regular, like a metronome, and whether it's going fast or it's going at a slower speed, it's very regular, but it can be irregular at times just by sometimes having some extra beats that we call premature beats that just make your normal rhythm irregular. And it's true that atrial fibrillation makes your heart go fast and is very irregular because it's multiple sources on multiple walls of the heart in that left upper chamber of the heart, the left atrium, that are firing off simultaneously, making your heart go at different speeds, each beat coming from a different source. So it is very irregular, but just because your heart's irregular doesn't mean you're in AFib. So it's not as simple as, oh, I feel like I'm definitely in an abnormal rhythm or I'm in my abnormal rhythm or I'm, I'm in AFib because my heart's irregular. Well, just because it's irregular may or may not mean that you're out of rhythm. If it's abnormally fast and you're just sitting there and your heart rate's racing 150, yeah, you're probably in some kind of abnormal rhythm because your normal rhythm wouldn't make your heart go at that speed. Your brain wouldn't make your heart go at that speed for no good reason. But just because it's irregular may or may not, you'd have to actually verify it with an EKG or a heart rhythm monitor. Now, there's different ways of doing that. A lot of people will use a blood pressure cuff, which also gives you pulse or heart, which means heart rate, pulse and heart rate are the same. Or they'll use a pulse oximeter device that measures your oxygen level through your finger. And it also gives you a heart rate or pulse rate, but those aren't that accurate. In fact, they could be notoriously inaccurate. If they can't sense all of your heartbeats because your heart's a little bit irregular, they can grossly underreport what your heart rate is. I've had lots of people come in where they say, oh, my machine is telling me that my heart rate is 30 beats per minute. And we check an EKG where we actually see the electricity telling their heart to beat. So we know exactly what speed their heart's going at. And it's 60 beats per minute or 70 beats per minute. And it's just that the device is undercounting the beats 
and giving them a false report. So they're not the most accurate. Similarly, watches that just record your heart rate may not be able to accurately tell you. A lot of those devices, like the blood pressure cuff, if your heart rate's kind of irregular, it gives you this heart symbol that shows that your heart is irregular. And people say, oh, see, I'm in AFib. Sometimes they are, sometimes they're not. Sometimes it's their normal rhythm, just being a little bit irregular. So just going by a heart rate or how regular it is, isn't 100% foolproof. You really need an EKG or a heart rhythm monitor. Now, some of the newer devices, some of the newer smartwatches, and also some devices like the popular Cardia Mobile device, where you actually put your finger on the device or the watch, and it actually gives you a rhythm strip, not just a heart rate, they're more accurate. They're not 100% accurate. They can still be wrong if your heart rate's kind of irregular. They still may call it possible AFib, but they're definitely a lot more accurate than just going by heart rate or whether your heart's ir irregular or not. And so, they're good screener devices, but truthfully, if you really, really want to know if you're going in and out of your abnormal heart rhythm, we really need to look at the tracings, either look at your watch tracings if you have a smart watch or the cardio mobile tracings or do an EKG with you having your symptoms so I can see what your rhythm is at that moment or have you wear a heart rhythm monitor for a day, a week, a month so I can catch those episodes and really see where the electricity is coming from and see if you really truly are going in and out of an abnormal heart rhythm or whether it's your normal rhythm just going a little bit fast because your brain needs it to for some reason or being a little bit irregular, but that's your normal rhythm and we're not gonna worry about your normal rhythm because that's normal.